Guess what this is? Right here. This, my friends, is not a lens cap or a body cap for a camera. This is a lens. Believe it or not, this little thin thing is a lens. And so is this. And that's what I'm making this video about. That's what inspired this video today <clears throat> is to show you what this does. I mean, this blew my mind when I saw these. Uh, I've heard of pancake lenses, but I've never heard of body cap lenses. This actually is as thin as a body cap for a camera. And it actually has a little lens in there. And this thing is amazing how thin that thing is. So that's what we're going to make this video about today. <laughs> like what, what do pictures look like taken with these things? Uh, these are Micro Four Thirds, which is a smaller camera system. And it's really good for when you're traveling and you just want to carry lightweight little cameras. And to give you an example of what this lens looks like on a little Micro Four Thirds camera, look at this. This is literally a pocket camera. This is a GM1, a Lumix GM1, with an Olympus 15 millimeter body cap lens on it. This is an actual lens that's on here. Now, one thing that, uh, this is how you do it. You notice it's the lens is closed. I'm gonna open it by clicking this lever, and there's the lens. Closed, open. Now, this lever not only opens and closes a lens protection, thing in there it also focuses by moving this little lever here you're focusing from infinity here to close up here and that's the tricky part with these lenses you can't turn something there's nothing to turn there's no auto focusing this is as manual as it gets so as you're as you're taking your picture you got to be focusing with this little lever like this that's how you focus and it's a little tricky, and that's uh, the only downside of these things, but it's a cute little idea. I mean, you could literally put this in your pocket. This is literally a pocket lens camera system here. So the two that I'm going to be reviewing today is the 15 millimeter, the 9 millimeter. These are by Olympus. Now, they're cheap. You can get these for 50 bucks, 100 bucks tops, between a 50 to 100 bucks for these, for each of these. Uh, they're F8. They're fixed. They're, in, they're a fixed f-stop. You can't change the f-stop, so it's f8. They're both f8. Uh, the focusing is with a little lever. And I have a third lens here, which is not as flat, but I'm going to bring it up for a reason. This is a 14 millimeter f2.5 Lumix. And uh, I'm going to show you why I'm bringing this up too, because this is a, con is a, <laughs> a serious contender for the, for this, uh, low profile lens system video today so let's take some pictures these are really wide angle uh this nine millimeter is considered a fish eye because it's really wide uh the 15 is a uh it's a wide angle i mean it's comparison to like a 28 millimeter with the the, the full frame um so we're going to go out here because it's wide angle you need, it's great to have a nice vista which is why we're here today this is sedona beautiful sedona arizona we're going to take some pictures with these lenses. I'm going to try some different scenarios using a G7 with a flash trigger on top. So we're actually going to take some off-camera flash pictures. So let's see what these little lenses, these body cap lenses, what they are like. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed while trying to focus with these little tiny body cap lenses is you need focus peaking or focus magnification to really see what you're doing. Something to help show you what you're trying to get in focus is in focus. It's really tricky. It's really hit or miss with some of these things because it's not a turning dial. It's a little tiny lever. You can get some good shots with these lenses, but you've really got to make sure it's focused because if it's not, you're going to end up getting a lot of blurry pictures, which is real easy to get with these type of lenses. Look at these close-up shots. Really good. Really, really nice and sharp considering this thing that's as flat as a, le as a body cap. Really sharp. The tricky part is everything in between really close and infinity, but <laughs> you can get it if you really take your time focusing. You really need to make sure that little lever is perfect. So here we are taking some shots. So this is the 15 millimeter here. And this is the nine millimeter here. The nine millimeter footage can look a little bit sharper because it is a wider angle lens and the wider angle the lens, the more stuff is in focus. The more telephoto -y it is, the more you have to be critical with your focusing. So the nine millimeter stuff will look a little better than the 15 if you're not smack on with the focus. Here's some more shots taken. This is the 15 millimeter. 
This is the nine millimeter. This is the 15 millimeter. This is the nine millimeter. And then, so this is the uh, 15 millimeter. It's super flat. The nine millimeter is a little thicker, still very thin. Uh, they're both like a hundred bucks or under a hundred bucks. You get really nice contrast, blue sky, the white puffy clouds with no filter. These have no filters on them. And still the images look really, really good. Like not washed out. Really great little lenses. Now here's the 14. This is why I brought up the 14 millimeter. This has autofocus. You don't have to worry about the focus. The autofocus is great on this lens. It's in a spherical lens. The image quality is a lot better. It's sharper. Edges don't distort. It's corrected for image distortion. Look at the quality of the 14 millimeter footage. How awesome this is. This, this is, that's why I brought this lens up. It's just a little thicker than the other two, but because of the autofocus, you are almost guaranteed great pictures every time. And the other thing that's great about this lens is it has threading on here so you can screw filters onto the lens. In this case, I have an ND filter and a polarizing filter, which I am using in these shots here. So you have a lot more creative control. These little flat lenses have no threading on them because there's no space for them. But the little bit extra depth on this lens allows you to screw things on here. So look at the pictures here. You just see the punch more. It's just so much more you can do with this lens. The 14 millimeter is only a little bit thicker than this nine millimeter and it is worth it. This is $200. It's not that much more and it is worth the investment. It has a screw thread. It's a spherical, so it's sharper. It doesn't distort on the edges. It's F 2.5, which means more depth of field. These things have no depth of field, very little. So if you want a tiny, small, wide angle, sharp pancake lens that takes great pictures, the Lumix 14 2.5 is the way to go. It's an all-purpose, lovable, practical, take-anywhere wonder lens with great autofocus. <laughs> Considering how small and cheap these lenses are, you can get some really good quality pictures with them. Those are my body cap lenses uh, that I reviewed for today. I hope you liked my show and I hope we can uh, meet again in the future to see other cool, fun stuff on Marcus Picks. So stay tuned and uh, see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.